What's up ladies and gentlemen, here's Greg M here talking about track and field and um, I saw this information on another video on YouTube and I couldn't believe it so I had to go and look up the article so I can do a follow up on this just to see because the other person just kind of talked about it but um, didn't show any, any receipts basically. So anyway. Here it is, Assam Asinga Budapest 23 hopes crushed by suspension. It's from the uh, Track Alerts website. Just to give credit where credit due, written by Anthony Foster. And there's the young man right there. So, another case. Alright. So, we had Toby Amazon in the, in the one, uh, 100 meter hurdles for whereabouts testing. And now we have this young man. In a stunning turn of events, the promising pass of emer emerging sprint sensation, Isam Asanga, has taken an unforeseen detour as he navigates a provisional suspension, effectively sidelining him from the much anticipated Budapest 23 World Athletic Championship. With this suspension announcement coming just days prior to the event's commencement, Asanga's dream of participating in the championships has been dashed, introducing an unexpected twist. To his athletic journey and um, okay here's more article here or uh, more paragraphs a singer who made waves of clocking an impressive 9.89 remember that uh, ran 9.89 seconds to secure victory at the South American Championship and establish a new world under 20 men's 100 meter record is now provisionally suspended for what is described as the presence use a prohibited substance GW1516 let's see if there's any more continuation all right so it goes on here what does provisional suspension mean for Isam a singer according to that the integrity unit AIU a provisional suspension entails the temporary barring of an athlete or individual from participating in any athletic competition or activity. This suspension is enacted prior to a final decision rendered through a hearing conducted in accordance with the World Athletic Anti-Doping Rules or Integrity Code of Conduct. The provisional suspension is undoubtedly a significant setback for the South American Sprint Double Champion Isama Singer. His impressive performances had fuel anticipation for his potential to challenge seasoned sprinter on the global stage of the World Athletic Championships. Notably, a singer's remarkable time of 19.97 seconds recorded earlier this year in Texas stands as both a South American under 20 record and a national record for Suriname, underscoring his remarkable talent and potential. A singer journey has included notable achievements, including his tenure at Mount Verde Academy, where he was honored as the Gatorade Florida Boys Track and Field Player of the Year in 2023. Further showcasing his potential, he has international letter of intent to compete at scholarships at Texas A&M University. Uh, I guess that, that's going to be Dash. So, okay, there's nothing more nothing further so he, he got tested for this uh, drugs in his system labeled by a number GW1516 and so this young man now at an early stage you now career possibly ended shot already and he's a young man you know so we don't know, yeah, there, there are some people going to say he's 18, he knows, he should know what's going on in his body. Um, he has enough intelligence to know right from wrong or to ask questions. But on the other hand, there's a lot of 18 year olds who are not fully aware, not doing their own research and are totally reliant on the adults supervising them, coaches and whoever else, management team. And they should have made sure that whatever they're using as part of his recovery nutrition program in, in you know any kind of supplements 
to keep up his, his, his you know his physical fitness is make sure it's clear and I don't know as coaches I don't know what they're like or professional they are they you know to, to, to give the benefit of the doubt they may or may not have been doing the research to make sure whatever supplement they're using are, is clear but on the other hand if they knew right and they knew they need to look into clearing it first so not to mess up this young man's future and put a dark cloud over his head at such a young age at 18 because most 18 year olds are not doping most 18 year olds can't afford the money to do and i don't know if he was already making a lot of money from running fast times or if he's already got sponsored and you know he was able to give the money for the supplements and and you know we don't know what his intent was was it intentional did he know what the supplements were did the coach um, sit down with the athlete and say this is legal this is good for you this will help you with your recovery this will help you with your physical fitness you know this is cleared by the anti-doping association or WADA or whatever whatever they call themselves these days I think somebody dropped the ball with this young man and he, you know he's probably thinking man as long as I'm running fast whatever coach giving me I'm taking it and running with that because all I know is I'm doing very good I'm getting stronger in the weight room my endurance is a whole lot better you know my you know I'm getting stronger and faster hey and I'm 18 beating the, some of the veterans and I got a future ahead of me if I'm running like this at 18 how much faster am I gonna get but that 18 he should have been well educated at least by now but about the you know the uses of drug use in sports and the dark cloud that's always hanging over track and field which is the reason why we have these these um these random testing that they have to do when when people start to run fast and they rank in the top 20 or 30 in the world or whatever you know it's unfortunate though this young and then this close to the world championships and I want to know how many more surprises we're going to get, negative surprises we're going to get. Or maybe even at the World Championship, does anybody know that they're cheating? And was able to, you know, bypass the wearable test somehow and not get busted during the wearable test. But they have some kind of methodology or strategy to even beat that, to perform at, at major events. I hope that's not the case, but... I have to read up the article, you know, you, saw, you see stuff on YouTube and I have to go and read to see if it's actually true. Because this is not breaking news on regular television. If you're not scoring the internet or you look at YouTube and you see a, you see a video. And um, especially if they're not showing all the receipts, they're just discussing it themselves. But this is, I'm, a, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more to follow on this. Because it's provisional. And so I guess they're investigating it. But uh, um, whichever the case, they're probably going to, even if it's unintentional, they're probably going to give him a, 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 maybe a two-year ban or something like that for him and his, his coaches, you know, that they should have known better. But, you know, he could face four years. And, you know, sometimes these guys get lifetime bans too, but at 18, man, career to be ended like that. I'll tell you young athletes professionals you, you got to make sure you clear everything man just don't take everything somebody is giving you even if you say your own coach coach is this clear your nutritionist hey i'm a professional athlete i, I, I depend on on the, the the performance of of keeping up top performance and high quality to to, to keep getting paid i don't want in the dark cloud over my name you know you gotta you gotta be checking man you gotta especially you know, when you're coming into a professional level like this, we know that the drug test, track and field is probably one of the most drug tested sports than any other sport that I know of. But anyway, we'll see what, we, you know, maybe keep an eye out on this story to see if any more new information drop. But that's what I want to come out and kind of cover myself and see it for myself. Anyway, that's it for now. Until next time.